I walked here, I was a bartender and uh, there was a, a psychedelic trance music event, you know, a rave. Uh, people came here, you know, you, ca you couldn't even bring uh, bottles of, uh, you know, uh, glass bottles, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People were just coming here to have some fun. And around 6.30 a.m. there was starting to be a red alert, uh, all, the, all of those, uh, you know, when you have a rocket, you have to lay down on the earth, mm -hmm. uh, hands on your head if mm -hmm. you're outside, or go to a shelter if you're at home, or stuff like this. And then, uh, you know, people were having some panic attacks, people tried to go out, uh, you know, uh, in order, you know, you can see that the cars were pretty much all center around the same place mm -hmm. when they try to get to the road mm -hmm. uh, this was actually the, the kind of road uh, that people took here to the left if you see here is a dirt road and that's the real road uh -huh. so uh, that's how they got to the party area which is there and uh, when they waited patiently in order to get to the road and the tourists were already lurking here and there uh, the southern part and the northern part and then they came from here, all this place uh -huh. from pers uh, from place you worked, right? Yes, the places we worked. I already I already was out from here. After you know, ten minutes before they came from there, I were I was at the here there the the dirt uh, the farmlands. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, so they, they're trying to move. So they went from the car and they ran away. Is exactly, right? exactly. Uh -huh. they, so that's why it is open. All the doors exactly. are open. Exactly. But why it is so smashed and destroyed? What is I this? think uh, that here there were grenades, that they were, uh, you see that some of the cars are actually burnt, completely uh -huh. burnt. I think they uh, thrown grenades, you can see in some of the horrific videos in the web that uh, they threw grenades at people. Uh, I'm sure that some of the cars just burnt and then, you know, the fuel tank exploded. Uh, you can see the, in a lot of the cars, you can see that the cars that actually had some a few people in them, there are uh, bullet shots, you can, uh -huh, yeah, you can see, see there, there, yeah, there it's exactly here, uh -huh. so uh, the people that actually survived the, the, the first, you know, that heard the shots coming from there, they tried to run away in that direction and uh, they ran for their lives, that's, uh, you know, briefly what happened. Uh, if you want the full story, it's, you know, there are so many individual stories of people that were heroic, you know, saved other people. And people that probably we won't ever hear, the sto hear their stories because they died with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you are just yourself here, who was at the party? No, I, I walked here, I was there with a friend that walked with me as well. Uh, she couldn't come here. She's good, she's safe, you know, physically at least. Yeah. Uh, mentally, who knows? I'm sure that anybody that was here isn't uh, good right now, mentally. Uh, I also took in a person that had no car on the road before we got to the farmlands east of here because he wasn't able to, you know, you can't uh, go by feet all that way, especially when you know there are terrorists lurking around. And somehow we, we left, the, my car is left there somewhere at the fields because, you know, the terrorists were starting to, to get on us be, be, uh, from each direction. So we just left it. There is uh, this uh, river, you can see this, uh, it's a dry river though, uh, but there is uh, this uh, place of where the water goes by. Uh -huh. So uh, we went there inside of the river so the terrorists won't be able to go after us. Uh, because they used cars and motorcycles uh -huh. and you know it's hard to drive inside of the river uh, so we left the car there and we started to go in the river as much as we could just away from here right i, I heard about like paragliders yes how the, many of them do you know well i didn't see any but i know they came a lot of them came by paragliders uh, how come how how is that possible it's very easy. If you'd go to the Israeli beaches, uh, to the sea, you'd uh -huh. see people that go by paragliders. They have fun with it. Uh, and right. you have those uh, automatic, not automatic, you know, the one that uh, that have a kind of an engine. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. So they used an engine uh, right. motor uh, paragliders. 
and they actually shot people from above, you know, unarmed people. All right, thank you very much. Uh, can you please write down your name, please? Of course. And are you a bartender, right? Yeah, I was a bartender. Here?